G'day everybody, here we are with uh, probably one of the all-time greatest ever uh, bowlers, male or female for that matter, Shannon Pahowski, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, why don't you tell everybody where you flew from to get here? I flew from Las Vegas to LA and then LA over here. And, and ballpark, how many hours do you think it took to get here? How you, Long and how are you feeling right now? Not too bad, I'm getting tired today. Right, and you were uh, here supporting Megan. How did she bowl? Well, okay. Quite a bit of room for improvement. So you've been to Japan, I think this is your third or fourth time. Yes. Um, you know, the cultural differences, the food, what are some of the things that you like about it? Well, since I've already been here once, I know where McDonald's is. <laughs> and I don't venture out too much, so those are good things to know. Uh, the people, I mean, I've found them to be one of the most friendly, nicest people. Definitely. You've found the same thing? They're always very nice, very friendly, and they go out of the way to help you in any way they can. Right, so uh, you're ready to put the shoes on and knock over yes. a few pins? Yes. Yeah, I think I think a lot of the people here are excited to watch you bowl. So I'm one of those guys, I can't wait to watch you bowl. Yeah, you will get to know, you'll be bowling. I'll have my friend <laughs> Homie here take another video, <laughs> and I'll be watching it all, don't worry about that. Well, thanks for that, and uh, good luck for the tournament. All the best, and um, yeah, I think that's all I've got. Standing to my left is uh, a Hall of Famer, one of the all-time greats, Carolyn Doran Ballard. How are you? You're doing okay? <laughs> You're doing okay? Uh, Carol, look, we've had a lot of people actually uh, message us, and, and they want this interview to happen, and one of the questions they're asking is, is how are you bowling out there? I'm actually bowling pretty good. This morning I shot about 130 over and decided I wanted to bowl on the burn just in case, you know, I see that tomorrow. I also needed the practice. I've been having a little trouble with my timing, so I'm really trying to roll the ball off my hand a little bit better. And I got to 160 over tonight, so I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, I, look, I saw the scores from yesterday. They, obviously, you wouldn't have been very happy with yesterday's performance, but I came in today. You look like you're in a different place. Um, Del was very happy. Your husband was very happy with your ball choices, where you were playing. What was the strategy coming into today? Um, the strategy first was to to get my hand in the right spot. I, I have a tendency to really want to chase after it. My, my push gets really long. So we've been working on that. And the first thing you said after you saw me throw a few shots was, you're, you're getting really long again. Get a little smoother. Roll it off your palm. Don't worry, the ball will read fine. And it's true. I also used a little more surface today than I did yesterday. Okay. And that's something that I noticed. Uh, I saw you using an outlaw. Um, mm -hmm. You've been using that ball here a little bit? Yep, I used an Outlaw, 1,000 uh, thousand surface on it. I used a Crossroads, 1,000 surface on it. And I actually went to a high road there this last game. As when they got a little bit, where I think everything was reading a little bit too early, it just moved a little bit further left and went to a high road. So now there's two sides of the coin. People saying that it's, uh, it's a disadvantage having to qualify. But you know, now that you have qualified, do you see it as actually been a little bit more on your side? Uh, because now you get to have a look at the pattern a little bit, see what balls match up. I, I think it's actually an advantage, and even if I was seated, I would probably be, bowl, be bowling if they allowed me to, because I think it is an advantage to get used to the approaches, to get used to what balls are rolling good, on the fresh, on the burn, so I, I, if you have the opportunity to bowl, I don't see why people aren't. Now I'm assuming this isn't your first trip to Japan? No, it is not. Uh, Japan, one of those countries that uh, you enjoy coming to? Yeah, I absolutely love Japan. It's actually one of my favorite countries because I really like the food here. Right, I was going to yeah. say, what, what was one of the things that drive you here? I, you know what, actually one of the things, I know this is going to sound really strange, but I'm not a big sushi person, but their rice here tastes very different than yeah. the rice you can get in the States. So I eat every single meal, there's rice. <laughs> I mix it into everything. So, I, I, But I like the food. I like their vegetables. I like shabu shabu. So. And have you found that the, the customs and the people here, are just, they're, they're so much friendlier here, aren't they? They're yeah. so uh, polite. And uh, you know, the thing that I love is no matter the age of the person, they're very um, courteous. They, they're always saying thank yous and pleases. Right. It's, it's so kind. It's very respectful. Very yeah, it's respectful. very traditional. Very very respectful and it doesn't matter who you are they give they give the same respect to everyone and I absolutely love the bowing thing yeah. you know the bowing because they're always bowing and I'm going hey. you don't have to bow to me anymore. hey hey, hey. <laughs> uh, well thank you for your time Carol I wish you all the best in the tournament I know you're going to do well you always do well um, and of course is there anyone out there that you wanted to say hi in internet world of course I want to say hi to Alyssa we talked to her a couple times today and mommy is in Japan but I'm going to try to bring home the golden trophy Oh, thank you very much, I think you're the best.